Hey everybody, Matthew here from AnyWorkingMe.com. In my office, I think it's just about time for me to clean up this desk because Dave and I are filming the last. This is not a test tomorrow. He was sick last week, so we weren't able to film it then. But what I want to talk about is Dark Heresy. Sad news, this, this game is no longer available. Fantasy Flight game no longer uh, makes it because they don't have a relationship with Games Workshop anymore. But uh, good news is that we are actually going to be doing a role-playing game show based on Dark Heresy. And we have, I've talked about this already, we're actually going to be launching an Indiegogo campaign later this week. I'm thinking on Friday it'll start. Might that be as early as Thursday though, which will be November 2nd, I think? Yeah, November 2nd. I've kind of got a lot of feedback from people. It sounds like uh, in order for us to be a role-playing game show, there is a lot of investment. We have to buy a lot of new equipment. There is um, a lot of investment in manpower to make it as well. And since it's an untested thing, we wanted to run a little Indiegogo to cover part of the costs. Uh, so our, our goal is only going to be 10000 which is really just part of the cost. You have to, to trust me on that one because it is going to be very expensive for us to produce this in manpower and equipment and post-production, everything like that. Although a lot of the cost is actually just in the production. There's a lot of hours that go into things like that. My typical narrative campaign, like Death Watch, I think I put 50 to 70 hours roughly into it before we even started filming. And that was just to create all this stuff. A role-playing game is very time consuming as well. I don't expect it to take me 50 to 70 hours before we do our first episode, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's quite up there and then there's all the filming time as well. So I had put up the question, would people support an Indiegogo? And a lot of people said yes. And so let's do that so that we can really make the show work. Because what I want to do is I want to make the show free. And in order to do that, we need to be able to raise that money to do so. So if we're able to raise our goals, then we'll be able to make the show free. Otherwise, we'll have to follow the typical tradition of the free and vault. And, uh, and a wild Lee walks by. And I also had the question of like what system I should use, and I was coming high between using a, like a homebrew system just because it was going to be simple, and decided in the end doing Dark Heresy. At first, as I open up Dark Heresy, it's actually very daunting. It is a lot of stuff in here, but the more I read it, the more I realized it suited what I wanted. Even though Dark Heresy is all about being acolytes to an Inquisitor, and this show, which has received a title, Blue Collar Heresy, is going to be about a bunch of blue-collar workers in the 40K universe surviving some horrible thing. The details of what that horrible thing is are yet to come, so you have to wait. It might be a chaos uprising, it could be a Tyranid invasion, but uh, I think I have an idea of what it's going to be, and I think I have a pretty cool hook for it as well. So you get to watch them survive or not survive, and how they do so. And Dark Heresy just provides a lot of tools that I think will be really useful. Things from madness to to shock and fear, to subtlety, to their influence. Um, these things I won't be using, like the, like the classes and all that, don't make sense. So, you know, I'm a janitor, so I'm an assassin, or I'm a taxi driver, so I, I'm a tech priest. Like it is, those things are too high level for what they're looking for. We're looking for like really dumbed down. So I think that'll provide it really well for us. And so I just want to give you an update. I'll be posting some videos this week as we lead up to the Indiegogo campaign. I'm actually going to put a link to the preview for it. There's no graphics on it yet. I'm still working on the perks and all the details. But if you could go and take a look at it and leave me your feedback here, that would be wonderful. And let me know what you think and any suggestions that you do have for that. But that's really it. I'm just going to kind of vlog this as we go along. We're hoping to actually film it in uh, the beginning of December. So that's the cool thing about this Indiegogo campaign is we'll have a quick turnaround time. Like a lot of times, for good reason, you go on Kickstarter or Indiegogo and you fund something, you got to wait six months, nine months, sometimes a year to get what you're doing. This time it's like literally the month afterwards. If you do the $20 minimum perk level or pledge level, then um, you get access to it as we film it, whereas everybody else will have to wait till after it's done. So you actually get real time. You can comment on it and leave suggestions for the next episode. And we'll, we'll try to like read all those and incorporate your suggestions as much as we can, obviously. And then there's some higher level ones where you can actually design NPCs and PCs. And um, it's a lot of fun stuff there. So take a look at it, give me your feedback, leave comments below. And I realize not everybody's going to care to support an Indiegogo. Not everybody even thinks that we should do an Indiegogo. And I get that. I get that there's a bit of controversy there. But it would really help us to be able to do this. I want to really make RPGs another part of mini wargaming. And so this, will, this Indiegogo will help us kind of get into that. It'll allow us to have the funds and the capital necessary to push forward into that venture. And um, not that we won't have these in the vault. I know if this first one might be free, but it, we would, if there's proved to be popular, then we'll create vault-only ones, and we'll create ones that alternate between free and vault and all of that. But this first one, I really want to give it a, give it a good go, so I'd like it to be free if we can raise enough money. If not, well, then we'll just do our typical, and it'll all be fine. Enough rambling from me. Leave your suggestions below. Go and check out the Indiegogo preview page, and happy working. Peace.